well, the cogs of progress are turning, and uh, they're turning out to um, show a slight oversight. There's still not enough iron. Yeah, um, hmm. About that. <laughs> Ooh, why? Oh, why? Well, they're out of air. What? Okay. <clears throat> so, this belt's full. Now. Let's think. Why is this only half? Oh, yeah, because it goes in that. Okay. So, theoretically, this guy should equalize it a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so now, yeah, transport belts are being built. You're being built. Hey, that's very good. Okay. So, one mystery solved. And, uh, my automatons, we have to automate further. Ah, yes, the soulless automaton. My, well, honestly, not my favorite character from Don't Stop. My favorite is, um, honestly, my favorite is Wendy. She's just as fucking depressing as that. <laughs> yeah. I love it. She also has a dead sister, which is less epic, because dead family members aren't very epic, but, um, excluding her dead sister, she's pretty cool. Okay. That should just about be it. Okay. Yeah, 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 we're only really gonna be needing steel for chests right now, and that's uh, mainly because I'm just so lazy, I don't want to, like, redo this stuff later on, <laughs> yeah, okay, and, um, that's sorted out, um, oh, yeah, there we go. Now of that uh, issue sorted. Uh, we just kind of want to connect this. Uh, yeah, just yeah. Problem solved. Oh, we actually are gonna need more stuff. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We gonna need more gears. Okay, so. <clears throat> Specifically, I want you to do that. Then, um, go like here somewhere. And I'm gonna want you to do the exact same thing I did before with the other guy. There we go. And we may want to actually work on, um, more inventory space, probably. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's do that. Uh, the reason why is uh, kind of obvious, I'd say. Uh, we can have an easier time squeezing through here. Come on. Oh, almost. I only needed to basically redo the entire electrical grid, but uh, we're through. <laughs> And, uh, now we can just, I guess, rest easy, knowing that, um, it's all, it's, it's coming home. Um, mm-hmm. Although, there's a problem. Maybe, uh, <laughs> iron again. Oh, yeah. Scrap the tool belt idea. We're beelining for trains. Oh, iron supply. Y you cause me constant problems, don't you? You still have some expansion space. But, uh, one more of that and we're done for with uh, all that this guy can provide. Um, although that's a lot of jewels. Yeah, I... What? Well, yeah, okay, I think 
Maybe smart if we try to limit. Well, these guys aren't gonna need to be limited. But these guys are. Over here. Um. Well, for now, we can just kind of try to limit them like that. I don't know. Let's remove the rest of these guys, because they're not necessary. And, yeah. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so, we are... Ooh. First sign of trouble. Mining drill number one. Out of power. So, out of power, but, you know, out of materials to mine. So, we're already just gonna... Uh... Finish. It's not panic time yet. Wait, hold on. I need, I need to start counting a bit better. Um. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. That does barely any. Same here. Oh, this guy have it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so... That'll be pretty lopsided, but uh, considering the fact that these guys don't fully fill a belt, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, and there's one too much. There's like one too many in this side, and then it like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, counting with me. Um, yeah, uh, y you've seen Mario teachers typing to get ready for curry teachers counting, um, yeah, y y you could say that, uh, basic counting is above my level of expertise by a wide margin. Anywho, um, yes, let us continue. Ooh. I really forgot an important thing here. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Also up here. Which will mean that we're gonna, ooh, we, we need more of every single type. You, you, and you. Well, now that we have this, we need to, uh, Yes, we're just speed running, running out of, we're just speed running resource exhaustion at this point. Okay. So, yeah, let's just, we're gonna need logistics too, and afterwards we can just immediately work on trains and such. While I also, um... Try my best not to completely dry out all the resources here. It's gonna be difficult. Um. <clears throat> now, I don't know. Using up all the resources quickly is like, you know, not a smart move, because why would you? <laughs> but uh, again, not using up all the resources is also kind of dumb. Because, well, if you're not using them, they're just going to waste. Uh, what is the situation here? Y yeah, let's just also, uh, limit how many munitions we're making. Cause... Like, yeah, there's no point in making trillions of ammo. Okay. Now with some more, now with some more actual useful materials, um... Oh yeah, and these guys are just... Making barely any. You know, I actually do want a lot more of these guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. So after some reconciliation, I have just I have decided that we need more iron. Um quite a daring suggestion, I am aware. But um here's a thing. We are researching at a very quick rate right now, so it's like a matter of minutes, essentially, before we, um, are able to start working on a train network, even a basic one. And I'm honestly a little bit worried. 
and probably not for the reason you may be thinking. I'm honestly, um, right now at least, um, actually quite interested in setting up a defensive wall roughly down this line. And, I guess, around the carpet. You see, the gist of this is, by uh, setting up a defensive wall kind of like that, um, we're going to be running into a situation where the biters are going to be hitting the wall before they hit us. Um, the wall will have just a belt of ammunition that's headed towards it. You know, basic stuff. <laughs> and um, I will do my best to hope, you know, I'll do my best to make sure it's not breached early on. It'll just be a furnace wall. Like, you know, a proper furnace wall with a bunch of turrets. Then um, later on... I'll add more and more turrets, and um, I'm going to try to automate it simultaneously. Uh, oh, well, that puts our entire iron plan a little bit into jeopardy, you know, because that is not a lot of resources. And I don't know where more iron is, but uh, I will be making a small line there that has a bunch of ammo. You see, we have been played a pretty decent hand, uh, you know, safety-wise. However, as it very often is in Factorio, we are trading off ease of access to resources for a lot of safety. This is what if there's iron, like, anywhere else here? We need to go around to get to it, and it's not going to be very good for us. Um... So, uh... Yeah, look forward to some pain. But since we aren't in any big trouble right now, um, we should be doing okay-ish. I mean, our pollution could, theoretically speaking, be touching some of those guys down there. However, here's the thing. We can just honestly be checking right now and... Um, if we would actually go and check, um, press P, in the last 10 minutes, pollution, there has been, um, in, even in the last hour, there has not been a single piece of pollution that uh, the biters have been ingesting. Which is good, because it means that they're not going to be angry, because again, the biters in this game only evolve, well, they evolve extremely slowly with time. But the two main player-involved ways they evolve is by pollution or murdering them. Now, this would make IRL sense, I guess, because, well, by murdering them, you're kind of making sure that only the ones that are resilient against you evolve. And, um, you know, by pollution... You are basically introducing carcinogens into the environment that um, will change how they grow. My headcanon is that um, they are developing big cancerous growths, but um, because the way the biters are, like... Because of the way the biters are, because they're aliens, um, the cancerous growths actually improve their, like, um, physique and such. I mean, it's just my head can, but it, I think it's cool. <laughs> so the third belt headed into here will probably not do that well. Is it hicking up somewhere? Yes, it is. Uh, so you see, as you, I mean, as you can see, um, it's having some slight hiccups in a few areas, which means that the belt is basically filling up completely. You may think that's good. Really, it, it's it's mixed. Okay, but we are finally uh, outproducing our whole iron supply, which is really good. Uh, we have a lot of gun turrets, by the way. That's really good. Uh, okay, however, logistics are getting closer and closer to completion. And uh, to celebrate... Uh, great logistical successes. I am going to um, do some funny things. You'll see in a second. 
so what I'll be doing is I'll be exchanging all of these guys for fast inserters so that um we can get things into a lot into our labs faster. We're gonna need a lot of inserters though, way more than you think, because we don't only need like inserters like this, we need them like this. There's gonna be red, green, blue, and bl and like grey signs, and then the three other sciences, the fucking purple, yellow, and white signs will be going down here. And I honestly kind of prefer this over the old system where there were only like four sciences and one of them was basically just gone by get killing biters, so... In a way, in the early, the early game... Sorry, not the early game, the old versions were actually a lot less like, um... Peaceful, player-friendly than uh, the versions right now are because back in the day also i am gonna need to fix this give me a second um, back in the day peaceful players could um basically be forced to fight biters while nowadays peaceful players don't need to so back in the day if you did the mistake of turning biters off not knowing about purple science you would be basically either forced to cheat or to start over and, um, well, I'm happy that they changed the game, mainly because people should not be forced to play a video game one very specific way, even if that is the way the devs intended for you to play it, I guess. Because you can clearly tell that Peaceful Mode is basically a bit of an afterthought. But... You know, it, it ignores one of the game's cool things that's being built around. But even so, it doesn't really matter. I mean, people playing it are having fun, and that's the most important thing when you're making a game. It doesn't need to be needlessly complex or needlessly anything. It just needs to be kind of fun, you know. Um, <clears throat> actually... Actually... This gave me a stupid idea. Let's make five more labs to make it a big 5x5 five five grid. And I'm gonna need some more of these guys because they're really useful. Oh, heck. We're out of copper. We need to expand our copper supply. By golly gee, I could have never expected this. Okay. So you're gonna see... Um... We're gonna be doing science a lot faster now. <laughs> hmm, just wait for a second for my um, final labs to kick in. I think we're actually gonna be using way more science than we're gonna be getting in. But, um, it's kind of worth it. Because <laughs> you, you can just, you can just slam this shit into overdrive and... You can just kind of watch them go. Look at how quickly this is going. 36, 37, 38. It's really cool. And what's going to be even cooler is uh, very soon I'm going to be able to basically double, well, at most quadruple my uh, furnace output. But for now, I'm happy with just doubling it. And um, <clears throat> on that note, um, well... Uh, I would like to thank you for watching. I'm quite happy that um, this is going so well. Because I'm a bit of a pessimist when it comes to games like this. And I often got demotivated easily early on. But because the seed is, so, uh, is actually so nice, I'm actually quite enjoying playing on it. And um, well, I hope you're enjoying watch watching me play on it. Also, that's a problem. We're gonna be seeing them fight us soon, and we finish railways.